Hey guys and welcome to Code It's Time. In this video I'm going to show you how to implement the Visivig editor in Django. If you don't know what the Visivig editor is, it's what you see is what you get. So you can insert bold text, images, paragraphs and similar. So you get a visual editor for your website. I've just created a virtual environment where I installed Django 3.2 and then I opened it in this editor. So you also need to do this before you can continue. And when that's done, we can go to the command line and then install the CK editor, which is the Visivig editor I'm going to implement in this video. So pip install Django CK editor. And when that's done, I need to get the static files from the editor and into our project by running python manage.py collect static. And yes, I want to continue ls okay i haven't set the static root yet so i need to go to the settings.py and fix this so if i go to the editor and then visivig test which is the name of my project settings.py and then at the editor now at the bottom here and then here is a static root equals base there slash static and then static is the in the root of my project and I can also set the media URL because I'm going to need this later. Media and media root, which is base there slash media and save. So now I configured everything we need there and I can run the collect static again there. So if I run ls now, you will see that we got a new folder which contains 128 files from the CK editor. Next step then is to go to settings.py again and open installed apps. We need to add CK editor here. So now Django knows that we want to use this library. Great. And then I'm going to create a new Django app called article, which will hold the posts or article for this project. So Python manage.py start app article. And then I can append it to the list here as well, article. And then I go to new folder here and I'm going to open up models.py to create a simple database model. First I import a rich text field from the editor. So this is almost the same as a text field but it then Django knows that this will contain rich text which is from the Wizivig editor. And then class, article, pass in models.model title equal, equal models dot char field set the max length and then content equals rich text field like that I can set the blank equals true whoops true and null equals true in case this is empty and save and then I need to run the migrations script python measure by make migrations and python mentioned by migrate now we have also initialized the database and then i can run the server great and then i want to make it possible to use the ck editor in the admin area so if i go to admin.py in the article app first i import the article model and then admin.site.register article Great, just stop the server again so we can create the super user. Python manage py create super user admin and then I can run the server again and I just copy this address, go back to the browser and then I can open it here. Great. And if I then go to slash admin and log in with the user I just created, oops, then articles appears here. And if I click add, you'll see that we now have a Visivig editor here. Article 1, this text is bold. And I can go to the next line, uh, title remove the bold and then for example here I can say heading one and save 
So now we have an article with some Visivig content inside it. So now we want to show this on the front end. So I can begin with creating a view for this. Def index. Pass in a request parameter. And then return render request article slash index.html and pass in articles. So we need to get this from the database. Articles article.objects.all and import the article like this. So now we can save this, create a new folder in here, templates and article and a new file called index.html. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. And here I want to loop through all the posts for article in articles. Maybe I didn't make them available here, of course. This should be like this, articles. So then I can say h1 article.title and then div class body or content article dot content and stop the end for and save and then I want to go to the URLs file to import this from article dot views import index but I want to be this on the front side it's just empty index name index and then save so now we can go and test this by going to the address and now we can see the here you see the html from the editor h1 a paragraph with strong there for showing the bold text but we want to show the html or render it so we just say save there. So now we've got bold text and also a title from the editor. Perfect. But I also want to make it possible to insert images here as well. So if I go back to settings.py, we need to add one more app here. CK editor underscore uploader. This comes when we installed the Django dash editor CK editor earlier. And then below here or over for example, you need to specify the CK editor upload path. So this will now be media slash uploads because CK editor always puts it inside the media there. Save. And then I need to go back to models.py because I need to import one more field from CK editor uploader. And this is a rich text uploading field. And then I add one more field content upload and set the rich text uploading field. You can replace it with, with this one if you want to. And then save and we can update the database. Make migrations and migrate. And then we run the server again. And I also need to do a few changes to the URLs file to support handling the media files. So first we import settings from Django so we can use variables from the settings file. And then I import static also for the media files. And then I append the static here where we set the media URL and also the media root. So Django knows where to find the media files. And this is only supposed to be used in development when you go to production, you need to use Nginx or something similar. And then I need to add a path here to specify where we located CK editor. So path CK editor and then we include CK editor uploader dot urls. We also need to import this from Django dot urls and save. So now everything there should be ready. If I now go back to the Chrome and then here if I go into an object you'll see that here we have a field for uploading fields there. 
like that. So I can also browse the server, no images found, use the upload dialog, okay? So if I go to upload here, I can try to find a file on my computer. And where do I have that? There, I found one. And then the name got here, send it to the server, and then it just upload it. It's also very big. Can resize it to 300 pixels, and then the height was also calculated for me. Perfect. And here you see a preview of the image and how it would look with text around it. So insert it. The text below the image and save. So if I go here, refresh, nothing happens because we are actually rendering the other field here. But I can say div class body upload just to separate this a little bit. Article dot content upload and mark this as safe refresh and now we have the image there as well perfect and then the next step in this tutorial is to make it possible to use this specific editor here in the front end as well so if i now go to the editor create a new view def detail request and then I want to get the article from the database. Then I can just copy this, paste it, remove the S at the end there, and detail.html. Then I can create a new file, detail.html, and this is just showing the title, and then the article content, and then the article content upload, and save. Now we can import this to the URLs file as well. Detail path int. No, this was actually just supposed to be detail because I'm not going to use a slug or a primary key. I just uh, just do this hard coded. So detail name is detail and save. If I now go to slash detail. You should see the article here with the title, the content, and then the content with images. Perfect. Then I want to create the forms for handling this in the front end. So in the article app, create a new file, forms.py. Now we begin by importing model form from Django.forms. And we can import the article model from .models import article and class article form pass in model form class meta model equals article and fields can be underscore underscore all like that so i use all the fields from the article model so let's copy this and go back to views.py and we import it here from dot forms import article form and then I want to use it here on the detail page so first I want to check if it has been submitted if request dot method equals post then form equals article form and we pass in request dot post so that's all the data from the form and similar and instance equals article because we're just going to edit the article we are already on. And if form.is valid, then form.save. And we can say return, redirect, back to the detail page again. So we need to import the redirect shortcut. No, already have it there. Perfect. Oops. If form is valid, sorry. And if it's not a post request, then we just say form equals article form and say instance equals article. So we have some data in there already. And then we need to make this available in the front end. So we pass in the form like this. Then I need to show the form here. So we'll create a new HR form method is post. 
we need to add a CSRF token. And form.sp, so it's rendered like paragraphs. Button, save changes, and save. So if I now go to the browser and refresh, you'll see that we have this form here, but there is something wrong because we shouldn't see the HTML. So what I need to do is to go back to the editor and then up here, I need to load static. So we get static files from the editor and similar. And then I need to import a script from the CK editor, which is the initialized script. And one more, which is the editor script. Now we have everything there. And since we are using media files here for, or uploading files, you need to add one more tag here, form.media. And then seek editor will do this for us. So just save now, refresh. And now we have the editors here as well. Perfect. And then save. And then perfect was added there. And here we also have the possibility to upload images. If I now try to just browse the server, you'll see that here we'll have a list of images we have available on the server. So embed images, like that. Perfect. So everything here seems to be working. And that was it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please click like below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would, it would be really awesome if you did it now. See you in the next video.